So it's time to do that thing everyone and their epic gamer grandma does at least once on YouTube. Hardcore Minecraft. I trust you know how this works already and if not, hello welcome to YouTube. I hope you enjoy your stay. First things first, we need to get the hardest part out of the way. No, not resource gathering. I mean location scouting. Is that a sunken ship? Well, that deserves an inspection. However, I feel pretty confident in my assessment that this ship is definitely not up to code. Guess I'll see what you have for collateral. Oh, that is fantastic. That, not so much. This, however, I don't think the captain's gonna mind too much if we help ourselves. Okay, so whereabouts are we on the map? Great. And which way is the treasure? Ah, perfect. All joking aside, there is actually a pretty easy trick to finding these treasure spots. Face north, face along until the map starts magically turning blue, and then you can take it leisurely 240 meter swim and voila, treasure. Uh, <laughs> that's what I wanna see. Diamonds in like our first five minutes. You can see why they call me fortune, right? <laughs> All right, before I got distracted by probably the best start I've ever had in a Minecraft hardcore world, I was about to say, we need to find something. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh yeah, you need to get resources. This is a hardcore Minecraft world. You're gonna, you're gonna die if you don't get the resources. No, we need to find a good location. And I know the best location for hardcore Minecraft in the game. And that is, of course, a jungle biome. The safest biome in Minecraft. Now, before we get around to some base building, I need to do a few things. Do some tree felling with this highly volatile substance. Make a crafting table, get ourselves some armor and weaponry. We don't want to be dying too early on. And watch the sunset, which means mobs will be spawning. You know, okay, I better get bed fast. I'm just going to trace along this desert and see if I can't find some sheep and revoke them of their wool. Sand. More sand. Skeleton that is quickly about to come my new garden mulch. Oh, look at that over there. It's more sand. Ugh, finally, sheep. And pork. I mean pigs. Well, whatever, they all end up in the same furnace. Gimme. Alright, now we can make a bed and go to sleep. Are you kidding me? Why is it always baby zombies? Ugh, a tree. Alright, quick, craft the bed and go to sleep. Uh, strangely peaceful up here. Okay, that's a lot better. Now. Back to playing House Hunters. So we were planning on making our base in the jungle, but I think I like this place a lot better. More sparse, open space to build our crappy structures, a lava pool, and a portal box, sweet as. Loot. Give. Now. Oh. Curse of Binding. And Blast Protection. However could I be so lucky? Okay, as disappointing as that loot was, I'm liking the look of this place. Might start setting up the base here. So we're going to want to quickly switch over to stone tools and let's get this place checked out a bit. Ah, sweet, more pork, I mean pigs. You know, at some point I would like to get some of these guys back to start a farm. Actually, wait, I've got sp <laughs> I've got potatoes from the sunken ship. All right, new plan. How about you two come with me? It's only just around the corner. Okay, so we need a place to put you for now. I don't currently have any fencing, so how about we just make a little hole in the ground? A little, a little boar pit. <laughs> By the way, if any of you get that reference, leave a comment down below. Okay, so now we gotta start getting stuff together. Such as the smoker, we'll get some of our eggs, I mean, I mean pork, cooked up. And then head down to the river to get some water for our growing vegetables. This is very far away. God damn it, why is it so far away? Oh, sweet. <laughs> it's a bit, uh, I mean, we could have gone a bit further. Because now it's time to make like my Irish ancestors and start farming potatoes. So some water, we'll grab our hoe, and we just start hoeing away. And voila, it's just like we're on Hypixel during 2019. Okay, moving on from the spud based jokes. I also want to gather up some stone and some mud bricks. So we need to also make some uh, planting for our wheat. And once that's started to grow, we can start heading into the mines to just get together all the stone we're going to need for this build. Now, don't go anywhere. This will only take a few seconds. Oh, uh, you... Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, come on. Leave, leave, leave. I, are you ki are you kidding me? There's a second one. Mm. Not today. Thank you very much. 
Okay, you are about to get a bone marrow transplant. I really do not like skeletons. So goddamn annoying. Let's just quickly light this up here so no more spawn and come to wreck our parade. Like, dude, I just want to get some iron. Leave me alone. Okay, we now have enough bones. I mean stones. <laughs> to get started on basic foundation. The idea is pretty simplistic. Dirt platform gets made and then we surround it with stone bricks. Easy peasy, something squeezy. Let's put some dirt up here, surround it with this stone. Kind of want to make this base look like a bunch of cliffs that I could easily fall off of. You know, just want to work in that feeling of constant anxiety. But for now, we'll just settle on making our sleeping quarters. Jungle planks down there, mud bricks on there. And then we just build up with more stone we've evicted from the mines. That is the sound of a pillager patrol. Crap, 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 crap. Okay, yeah, I'm into the house. Barricade the door. All oh, right, we didn't make that yet. Oh, wh whatever, dirt will do. Okay, how am I going to get rid of these guys? I also need to figure out a way around the leader, because if I kill it and get bad omen, it is going to be really bad if I come across the village. Maybe if I stand here with my shield, they just, they'll just shoot each other. Then I can attack them to... Well, that'll teach me. Okay, one last down. Let's see if I can make this look as cool as possible. Success! Alright, thanks to those pillagers, I've now got the bad open effect, which, aside from being rather appropriate, mind you, will also be a pain in the butt if we come across a village. So, I think we should alleviate that ailment and track down some dairy. Unfortunately for me, I killed the first cows I saw, so we're going to need to do a bit of an expedition. Never mind, I found them like a minute later. Huh, <laughs> milk. Alright, in case that ever happens again, let's bring you guys home. I also have something in mind for later, but that can wait for now. Can you guys move a bit faster? I think the sun is close to setting. Okay, nope. Get back here. I, this one, I, this one has just been, a, keeps going off. Okay, now we have our cows sorted. We should probably get to working on the rest of the base. I'm sure it won't take long, so let's just skip to the point where we're done. So, I may have gotten a little bit carried away while recording. I did a little more than I intended. <laughs> I think the more professional Minecraft YouTubers refer to this as, uh, I did a little bit of mining off camera. No worries though, I got it all in stellar time-lapse fashion. But with all this structure, we still need to actually fill it with something, like livestock, which I actually need a lot of. You see, while we were mining around, we found some diamonds. Oh wow, there's a few here. Shit. This allows us to get an enchanting table, which I made, and I also got some dripped out um, armor now. Unfortunately, the armor is actually pretty weak. So to make this fully functional, we need to get ourselves some bookshelves. And to make bookshelves, we need books. And to make those books, we need leather. And that's where our fine bovines come in. Now, we need 15 bookshelves to get the most out of our table. So that's what, three books for each, which means that we need a total of 45 leather. So what do you say, Betsy? Ready to get to work? Yeah, you can tell she's ready for it. Okay, so... Funny story. <laughs> I may have gone a bit overboard with breeding cows for leather, and I might be trapped now. Yeah, I can't get out without something horrible happening. Oh... Actually, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. 10 out of 10 play right now. Watch this. Ha <laughs> ha! Suck on that. Well, anyway, now that that's done and this is constantly hurting my ears, I think it might be time to pull the cattle. Oh, also, also, I learned this a while ago, but uh, if you get... Hold on, let me get a block. Get... Got enough entities. You can just ride on them. I call this cow surfing. Uh... <laughs> uh, this reminds me of um, New Alabama from Mask Season 1. I think that's what we'll call this. I 
I can't get out now. Oops. Okay, we'll just leave that boat there. <laughs> need to go to sleep real quick. So anyway, we need to start doing some culling. So I think we're gonna... Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I can't get... They patched it! I don't... I don't get back in the boat! Oh no! Okay, all right. I'm, I'm, I'm done with this one. Uh... Oh no. Quick, to the boat! All right, in hindsight, this might have been a bad idea. Shit! Oh, crap. Yeah, so that was a bad idea. <laughs> Got some steak out of it, though. Okay, let, let's try this the old-fashioned way. Hold, please. Well, I think that should cover us on leather for the foreseeable future. Also, if you're wondering, there was about 300 cows. Not so many now. We've also been stacking up in sugarcane. So I think we should have enough for the books now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, I, I think it's been like 10 days just breeding cows. <laughs> there, 64 books. And now we have enough for our enchanting table. So probably should move this. Let's, let's move it up here. This this is a nice place. Hmm, I don't know if this is how it's supposed to go. It's fine. Now if we get this, oh, that's a lot better. Okay, let's quickly go shave off these enchantments. Let's see what we can get. Section four, breaking three, and breaking three. For now, we're pretty set. We've got food, we've got enchantments. I think this is a good point to sign off. Hoping to do more of this hardcore series as we go on. And thank you all for joining me. Oh my God, I forgot you were here.